Hello and welcome to Celebrity Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. In the spotlight tonight are pop star Kimberly Wyatt from the Pussycat Dolls, her specialist subject is Bob Fosse. Darren Kennedy, the stylist on BBC One's fashion show You Are What You Wear, who will be answering questions on the history and culture of the geisha. Normski, the man who helped bring dance music to Britain, his subject, electronic music of the 1980s and 90s. And Aoife Hines from BBC Three's Normal People. She will be answering questions on Amy Winehouse. <laughs> Our four brave celebrities may think they have done pretty well with their careers so far, but what they have not done yet is sit in that infamous black chair and panicked as the clock counts down. <laughs> One and a half minutes on their specialist subject, two minutes on general knowledge. Just one of them will be able to claim the title of Celebrity Mastermind. So let's ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Kimberly Wyatt. Your occupation? Singer-dancer. Your chosen charity? Dance Professionals Fund. And your chosen subject? Bob Fosse. Bob Fosse, the award-winning dancer, choreographer and director. 90 seconds on him. Here we go. Bob Fosse was born in 1927 in a city that shares its name with one of his musicals. Which city? Chicago. Yep. Fosse was dancing professionally by the time he was 13. After a period in the Navy, he made his Broadway debut in 1950 in the cast of a review. What was the title of that review? The Ricks Brothers. Dance me a song. After Fosse's work on a short dance sequence for the 1953 film Kiss Me Kate was well received, he was asked to choreograph the stage musical The Pajama Game. The musical was co-directed by George Abbott and who? Gwen Verdon. Jerome Robbins. After two failed marriages, Fosse married the Broadway star Gwen Verdon in 1960. They separated in 71, but continued to work together. Their first collaboration had been in 1955 on which show? Sweet Charity. Damn Yankees. After he became successful as a choreographer from 1959, Fosse began to direct his shows as well. Nevertheless, in 61, he agreed to do choreography for how to succeed in business without really trying. Who was the director of that show? Mm. Fosse. A. Burroughs. Fosse directed both the stage show and the film of Sweet Charity. He wrote early drafts of the show's script himself, but its final version was credited to a playwright friend of his. What was the playwright's name? Sid. Neil Simon. Fosse directed, choreographed and co-wrote the script for the stage show of Chicago. The songs were written by the same partnership who had written the music and lyrics for Cabaret. Which partnership? Liza Minnelli. Kanda <laughs> and Ebb. You had no passes. Kimberly, you've scored one point. <laughs> Better than nothing. Absolutely. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Darren Kennedy. Your occupation? TV presenter, stylist. And your chosen charity? Belong to youth services. And your chosen subject? The geisha. The geisha, the history and culture of those Japanese hostesses and companions training, conversation, singing and dancing. Here we go. A group of women who are regarded as one of the predecessors of the geisha were known as Chatata Onya. This translates as women who brew what? Tea. Yes. Until the late 19th century, when the Japanese empress changed the fashion, married women, courtesans and geisha would soak ground gall nut and iron in vinegar and use the mixture to colour which part of their facial features black? Their teeth. Yes. For centuries, geisha and their predecessors would whiten their faces with the ground droppings of a particular bird. The droppings are still sold in Japan today. What bird? Magpie. Nightingale. The first woman known to have called herself a geisha worked in a place called Fukagawa, also known as Tatsumi, a disreputable area of what is now Tokyo in the middle of the 18th century. What was her name? 
Ono no Komachi. Kikuya. A geisha is often financially supported by an older man who's usually married before the Second World War. It was a mark of a man's wealth and prestige to be known as the patron of the geisha. What is the Japanese word for these men? Dana. Yeah. Geisha wear colors and patterns that represent the seasons and the months of the year. Traditionally, a kimono made of pale green fabric layered on deep purple and decorated with sprigs of pine represents which winter month? November. January. What's the name of the three-stringed musical instrument closely associated with the geisha? It resembles a banjo, and the sound box is traditionally covered in the pelt of a dog or a cat. The shamisen. Yeah. Young girls who entered the geisha world as maids would live in the geisha houses to clean and run errands. They were initially known as shikomi, which means in training, or as tamago. What is the usual English translation of tamago? Novice. Egg. Ah, oh, yes, I knew that. <laughs> of course hey, I did. Hey, <laughs> that's what the black chair does to you. Uh, no passes, Darren, you have four points. Four. Thank you. Well done. Come on. <laughs> Great. And our next contender, please. And your name is? I'm Norm Ski. Your occupation? DJ and photographer. Your chosen charity? Campaign Against Living Miserably. And your chosen subject? Electronic music from the 80s and 90s. In 90 seconds, starting now. The style of music known as Garage was named after a club in New York where Larry Levan DJed for more than a decade. What was the name of the club? Paradise Garage. Yep. Which act, named after the initials of its members, had a UK number one single in 1987 with Pump Up the Volume? Mars. Yeah. In February 1982, Kraftwerk reached number one in the UK singles chart with a track from their album, The Man Machine, that had been released as the B-side of Computer Love the previous year. What was its title? Robots. The model. The Electrifying Mojo was the stage name of an American DJ whose eclectic sets featuring Prince, Kraftwerk and the B-52s and late-night radio show The Midnight Funk Association had a major influence on the pioneers of Detroit techno. What's his name? Oh. Pass. In 1989, which former member of 808 State had a UK top 20 single entitled Voodoo Ray? It said the track was meant to be called Voodoo Rage, but the sampler didn't have enough memory to save the whole phrase. A guy called Gerald. Yeah, what was the name of the small club created by Danny and Jenny Rampling in a Southwark gym called the Fitness Centre? It showcased the Balearic sound that Danny had heard in Ibiza. Ugh. Ah. Pass. In 1992, which act reached the top ten of the UK singles chart with A Trip to Trumpton? The track sampled the children's television presenter Brian Kant saying, Pew, pew, Barney McGrew, Cuthbert Dibble Grub. Alternate. Urban Hype. Ah. <laughs> which you knew, right? Ah. Two passes, that small club in a Southwark ah. gym was called Shoom. I'm gonna die. You, Cos you knew it. Cos they know. know I knew it. I knew I knew it. I know. And the other one you passed on, the guy who was a major influence on <laughs> Detroit Techno, Charles... Johnson. Ah, there you go. Normski, you got three points. Ah, thank you. Yeah. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Aoife Hines. Your occupation? Actor. Your chosen charities? Freedom from Torture and Young Roots. And your chosen subject? Amy Winehouse internationally successful British singer. Here we go. As a teenager, Amy Winehouse gained a scholarship to a performing arts school. In her application, she wrote, I want people to hear my voice and just forget their troubles for five minutes. Which school was it? Brit School. Sylvia Young Theatre School. Winehouse first came to the attention of a record company when her longtime friend, who was once described by The Face magazine as Britain's answer to Justin Timberlake, handed her demo tape to his manager. What's the name of that friend? Tyler James. Yep. In the video for the 2004 single Pumps, taken from her debut album, Frank Winehouse sings outside a nightclub while two women have an argument behind her. What's the name of the club? Or uh, Coco. Beyond Retro, the chart-topping 2006 album Back to Black sold more than three and a half million copies in the UK and was nominated for the Mercury Prize. It was released on which record label? 
Island Records. Yep, at her performances at the Glastonbury Festival in 2007 and 2008, Winehouse performed a cover version of a song originally written by Sam Cooke. Which song? Uh, pass. Winehouse recorded the song Valerie with Mark Ronson for his album Versions, and it reached number two in the UK chart. It's a cover of a song by which rock band? The Zoo Swans. Yep. At the 2008 Grammys, Winehouse won five awards. One track from the Back to Black album won three of them. Which song was it? Rehab. Yep. Winehouse made her last public appearance in 2011 when she danced on stage at a performance by her goddaughter, Dionne Bromfield. At which London venue did that happen? The Roundhouse. Yep. After her death at the age of just 27 in 2011, Winehouse's ashes were placed with those of her grandmother, who'd been a musical influence on her as a child. What was the first name of her grandmother? Cynthia. It was indeed, or Cynthia. You had just one pass. Uh, she performed a cover version of a song originally written by Sam Cooke called Cupid. You have, Ifa, uh, six points. Right, that is the end of the specialist round. Let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place with one point, Kimberly. Third place with three points, Normski. Second place with four points, Darren. First place, six points, Ifa. So now it is the general knowledge round. And if there is a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. But if they're tied on passes as well, then there has to be a tie break. So let us ask Kimberly to join us again, please. <laughs> now, I've got to ask you, obviously, about Pussycat Dolls. Yes. Very successful. Yeah. 55 million records? Yeah. Are we at the top of your playlist, John? Oh, naturally. Naturally. <laughs> I mean, I, I see you as a superior version of the Spice Girls, to be honest. Oh, well, that's I'm... a huge compliment. Well, what's the difference between an American girl band and a British girl band? I think the difference between the Pussycat Dolls and any other group ever is that we started as an underground show on Sunset Boulevard, more, of as, more as a dance troupe with celebrity guests that would come oh. in, like Charlize Theron and Scarlett Johansson and Gwen Stefani, who brought her label. They dug the concept in the show, and then we became a recording group. So there's a lot of history before we ever came out with Don't You. So, in your case, what's your, what are you best at? I mean, dance is my heart, it's my passion, it's my soul. I can't help, when I have something to say, I'm able to dance it more so than speak. Obviously, from my first round, you see. I could, I know Fosse, he helped develop my whole career. I can dance it, but obviously when it comes to the facts, I struggle a bit, No, John. no, nothing to do with that. It is to do with that black chair that you are sitting in. Anyway, let's see how you do now yeah. with your general knowledge, because you get two minutes, so plenty of time to catch up and overtake the rest of the field. Let's hope so. I am feeling like the underdog. Here we go. According to a common expression, the early bird catches the... Worm. Yes. In the title of a 1983 book by the American primatologist Diane Fossey, which was adapted into a film about her life, what creatures are in the mist? Pass. An English city in the West Midlands has 35 miles of canals, a figure that is often said to be higher than that of Venice. Which city? Oxford. Birmingham. What 1995 film based on a children's book by Dick King Smith ends with Farmer Hoggett speaking the line, that'll do, pig, that'll do? Uh, Charlotte's Web. Babe. Which uh. Caribbean island has a name that translates from Spanish as rich port? Pass. On a golf course, the area of short grass between the tee and the green of each hole is known by what name? Putting green? Fairway. A British coin was introduced into circulation in 1982 and originally featured a crown Tudor rose on its tail side. What denomination of coin? Pound. 20 pence. What word can follow King Charles and Irish water in the names of two breeds of dog? Uh, King Charles... Spaniel? Yes, Spaniel. The American television producer Gene Roddenberry is best known as the creator of a science fiction series first shown in 1966. What series? Pass. What term for the period of European history that immediately followed the fall of the Roman Empire was derived from a belief that it was a time without intellectual enlightenment? Oh, I just studied this for my <laughs> test. Take a guess. Oh. Pass. 
No guesses the in Godfather there. of Soul and Soul Brother Number One were nicknames of an American singer known for songs such as the 1960s hits Papa's Got a Brand New Bag and It's a Man's 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 World. What was his name? Ray Charles. James Brown. The word mum is an informal, abbreviated name for which garden flower? Poppy. Yeah. Chrysanthemum. You had four passes, Kimberly. That uh, period of European history was pretty bleak. That was the Dark Ages. Yes. Yep. Star Trek was the science fiction series. Puerto Rico is the rich port. And it was Gorillas in the Mist. That was Diane Fossey's film. You have three points. Thank you. Well done, well done. And now, let's ask Normski to join us again, please. Now, this thing, Normski, about dance music, is it a form of music that you could put into some of the great old categories? Like, at one point, we had ballroom, and then we had jive, and then we had the twist, and so on and so on. I mean, does it... Can you categorise it like that? Dance music, I think, is the freedom to dance without, without restrictions. So, with all honesty, the kind of old-fashioned stuff that you're going on about, that's all a little bit restrictive. Uh, yeah, even yeah though, absolutely. Even though, with respect to, you know, it's quite a, a skill to be able to, you know, do ballet and et cetera. But I've seen a lot of people in contemporary dance floors and, and club dances mixing it up, you know, like the DJ would mix up different styles of music. Then there's that moment when you've got to stand up and shake a booty. Like? Oh, you want me to show you? Well, why not? Go oh, on, okay. go for it. You go might on. just... Hang... You know, you might... Yeah. You might do something like <laughs> samba dancing. I don't know. Yeah, I yeah. You know, just get up and dance. I go do it all the time. Mm. I can imagine you on a dance floor having it oh, large, John. Hard to stop me. You know, everyone's got their own way of expressing themselves, John. So I personally would love to see you dance into a bit of mad acid house. So just to see what you would do to it. You know, the idea terrifies me. <laughs> right. And let's see how you do with your general knowledge. That's the that's the thing at the moment. You've got two minutes. And you start out with three points. Here we go. According to a common proverb, an apple a day keeps whom away? The doctor. Yep. Sir Gawain, Sir Percival and Sir Tristan were three of the knights at the court of a legendary British king. What was his name? King George. King Arthur. Which country's men's rugby union team is known as the All Blacks? New Zealand. Yeah, the late-night television series Eurotrash, which began in 1993 and was resurrected for a one-off show in 2016, was presented by Antoine de Cohn and a French fashion designer. Which designer? Jean-Paul Gaultier. Yes. English Angora, Flemish giant and Netherland dwarf are breeds of an animal commonly kept as a pet. What animal? Goats. Rabbits. <laughs> in a well-known scene from an Oscar-winning 2000 film, Russell Crowe's title character identifies himself as father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife. Which film? Pass. The complex of buildings in Paris known as Les Invalides contains the tomb of a French emperor who died in 1821. Which emperor? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, pass. Which Bantu languages, together with English, an official language of Kenya and Tanzania? It's widely used as a common language throughout East Africa. African? Swahili. In the standard UK version of the board game Scrabble, two letters have the maximum value of ten points there. Q. And which other letter? Z. Yes. Which American actress was the original subject of the 1973 Elton John and Bernie Taupin song Candle in the Wind? It was rewritten in 1997 for the funeral of Diana, Princess of Wales. I'd say Elton John. I'd... Marilyn Monroe. A series of children's books written and illustrated by Judith Carr features a cat who's described as nice but not very clever. What's the name of the cat? Pass. I can tell you, because we're out of time, Mog. Mog. You had that pass and two others. Napoleon Bonaparte. That was the guy. That <laughs> was the guy, the emperor. And Gladiator was the film. However, you now have seven points. Oh, OK. Thank you. Well done. And now Darren again, please. Right, Darren, you are what you wear. 
Yes, indeed. Really? <laughs> Have you watched the show, John? Yes. Well, essentially, I mean, it's about feeling good from the inside out. That's what you are, what you wear is about. Um, I think, you know, a lot of people go around and they focus on the negative, be that, you know, the weight they have on them, the clothes they're wearing, um, their outlook in life. And really, the purpose of you are what you wear is to flip that and kind of go, do you know what? We've won life. We've one shot at this. Let's focus in on the positives. Isn't the problem with that that most of us, most of the time, are effectively wearing a uniform. Uh, absolutely. And I, an example from the show, we had uh, a man, Michael, lovely chap, who'd worked in the armed forces all his life. He found himself in his early 60s, retiring in great nick, had looked after himself physically, um, but had lived his life without ever having to think about what he was going to wear. But then he realised there's more to life than his uniform. He was beaming from cheek to cheek after his makeover. And whatever makes you feel that little bit better as you step out the door and face the world every day, well, I'm all for it. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two minutes starting now. The four suits in a standard pack of playing cards, clubs, diamonds, hearts, and... Spades. Yes. The symbol used in astronomy and astrology for one of the planets in our solar system is also used as a symbol for the female sex. Which planet? Venus. Yep. A type of brimless felt hat, usually red, with a black tassel attached to its flat crown, is named after a city in northern Morocco. Which city? Pass. Which British grime singer topped the UK albums chart in 2020 with his second full-length release entitled Heavy Is The Head? Stormzy? Correct. What boy's name is also a word for an interconnecting network of rabbit burrows? Warren. Yep. The Provencal speciality tapenade is a paste often served with appetizers. It's three essential ingredients, a capers, anchovies, and what? Stone fruit? Olives. Yep. The nonsense poem On the Ning Nang Nong was written by a comedian and author who was one of the main stars of the radio series The Goon Show. What was his name? Pass. Which French monarch is known as Le Roi Soleil or the Sun King? Pass. Dawn of the Dinosaurs and Continental Drift are the subtitles of sequels to a 2002 children's film set in prehistoric times. What film? Oh, my God, I love that film. It's not Jurassic Park, is it? <laughs> no, Ice Age. In 2019, the athlete Elliot Kipchoge completed a course in Vienna in one hour, 59 minutes and 40 seconds to become the first person to run what long-distance event in under two hours? Marathon? Yeah. The main character in the television series Prime Suspect, created by Linda LaPlante, is Detective Chief Inspector Jane Tennyson. She's played by which actress? Tom Cruise. Helen Mirren. What was the name of the Native American princess who sought peace with the English colonists at Jamestown in the early 17th century? One of them, John Smith, would later claim that she had saved his life. Pass. A piebald horse is one whose coat has irregular patches of white and black. What similar name is given to a horse whose patches are white and any other colour apart from black? A uh, very... A skewbald. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Um, the uh, other pass is Pocahontas was the uh, Native American princess. Of course it was. Louis XIV was Le Roi Soleil, the Sun King. Spike Milligan wrote ah. on the Ning Nang Nong and all that. And that brimless hat, Fez. However... You have now leapt into the lead because you have ten points. Great, thank you. And finally, Aoife, again. Now, we've got to talk about normal people. Yes. Um, how did it become the hit it was? Because the slowness of it, not very much was being said, there were lots of... Yes. Looks, meaningful looks of between course, people. Of course, but I think it was testament to Sally Rooney's book because of the writing. I think a lot of, a lot of the book is kind of internal monologues of these characters of what they're going through in real time. Do you sort of sit in your bathroom looking in the mirror and thinking, now, what moody look? How would my mood... Yeah, do, do you do, do that? I think Helen Mirren said, never act in front of a mirror. Oh, did she? Never look at... Yeah, because it's all about the feeling. If it's true what's happening inside, then it will then translate on your face. Now, you've just done a film with your father. Yes. Um, Kieran Hines. What was that like? 
Well, we didn't have any scenes together, oh. um, but we did have one day on set where we were both there, and that was quite nice. He loves to wind me up, so that was fun for him. Yeah. <laughs> right, you've got um, six points, and as we speak, the score to beat is ten. Here we go. Brussels is the capital city of which European country? Belgium. Yep. Which American tennis player, three-time Wimbledon singles champion in the 80s, earned the nickname Super Brat because of his behaviour on court? <laughs> Serena Williams. John McEnroe. Which member of the British royal family married Commander Timothy Lawrence in 1992? Uh, Princess Anne. Yes. What term for someone who cares little about art, literature or music comes from the name of a biblical people opposed to the Israelites? Pass. The actor Cliff Parisi is best known for his role as Fred Buckle in the television series called The Midwife and before this as the character Minty Peterson in a BBC soap opera. Which one? EastEnders? Yep. What name from a Greek word for milk is given to a vast system of stars held together by gravitational force? Such systems can normally be classified as spiral, elliptical or irregular. Milky Way? No, Galaxy. The hospital ship Britannic, which was sunk by a suspected mine during the First World War, was the sister ship of the Olympic and an ocean liner that sank in 1912. Which liner? The Titanic. Yeah. Rikers Island, the site of a famous prison, is in which American city? Detroit? New York. A 2019 film set in a stately home during the interwar period is a spin-off from a successful television series with a cast that features Hugh Bonneville and Elizabeth McGovern. What's the title of the film? Uh, what's it called again? Um... Downton Abbey. <laughs> yes, which English conductor founded his own orchestras in 1906 and 1909 on the strength of his private fortune from his family's patent medicines business? Um... Benjamin Britten? Sir Thomas Beecham. What word for a cave-dwelling monster from Scandinavian mythology now also refers to someone who posts offensive or inflammatory messages online? A troll. Yeah, the artwork known in English as The Umbrellas in the collection of the National Gallery in London was painted in the 1880s by which French Impressionist artist? Monet? Renoir. In computer gaming, where an element of chance is required, the outcome of an event is often determined by an algorithm known by the abbreviation RNG. What do the letters RNG stand for? No idea. Pass. I shall tell you. Random number generator. Oh. And that term for someone who cares little about art, etc. Philistine. Ah, yeah. Yes. There we are. However, it does not matter because you have 12 points. <sighs> So let's have a look at all of the scores in fourth place with three points. Kimberly. Third place, seven points, Normski. Second place, ten points, Darren. First place, 12 points, Eva. Which means that Eva takes home the trophy and is tonight's celebrity mastermind. Well done, Eva. Oh, well done. Well done. Yeah. And congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. you. What are you going to do with it, the trophy, I mean? I will parade it in front of my family when we do our Zoom, qu our next Zoom quizzes. Something to show off, yeah. yeah. Well, well done. <laughs> now, you don't have to be a celebrity to take part in the regular Mastermind programme. If you would like to appear in the next series on BBC Two, you can apply online at bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us at Mastermind Quiz. Either way, do join us again next time for more Masterminds, and thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'd like to thank my friends, my family, my director. Um, no, I'm joking. This is no, this is this is this is great.